to answer the question of whether dead bodies sink or float is that they do both whether something sinks or floats is determined by a simple interaction between two opposite forces firstly there is a force upward the buoyancy force this force is equal to the weight of the liquid that an object displaces it is known as the archimedes principle the second force is a downward force gravity which is proportional to the mass of an object if the force caused by the gravity is more than that of the buoyancy an object will sink in simpler words something will sink if it is denser than the surrounding liquid why does a living person sink a person only starts to sink into the water when the air in his lungs is replaced with water due to the pressure of the water the gases in the body will compress which condenses the body and body will sink faster until it hits the bottom by the way the cause of drowning is in the water in the lungs but the lack of oxygen what happens when a person sinks billions of microorganism primarily bacteria live inside our body some of these bacteria can cause disease but most of them are harmless and even useful to us the immune system keeps a check preventing them from infecting us but without the immune system many of these peaceful microorganisms begin to infect the body and consume it as the bacteria and even some fungi eat away at the body's tissue their metabolic activity produces gases such as carbon dioxide ammonia and methane as decomposition progresses these gases will build up within the body but has nowhere to go so the body will begin to bloat the bloating makes the corpse more buoyant or less denser than the surrounding water eventually causing the corpse to rise to the surface most corpses are seen floating face down and there is actually a good reason for that since the gut and chest cavity have the most bacteria the most bloating will occur there and any floating back to the surface will be led by these buoyant areas of the body based on human anatomy the limbs and head tend to fall or bend forward rather than backward so dead bodies in water seem to naturally orient themselves in the face down position most of the dead bodies float this way but there are also exceptions the smaller the hands and legs are then it is more likely for the corpse to float facing up if a body stays on the surface of water for a long time then it will release the gas that had been built up and then it will sink into the water once again the composition continues under water and then more and more gas is collected and the body may start floating again this is also known as a refloat in terms of rescue workers the type of water body the seabed and the temperature are just a few factors that affect the decomposition rate and floating time of a corpse i hope by now you have already subscribed to my channel thank you any query or suggestion please do comment see you all in my next video bye